Hi, I'm John Caldera. I'm the president of the Independence Institute in Denver, Colorado. I write a weekly column for the Denver Post. I host a talk radio program in town. I also host a current affairs show on Colorado Public Television. I'd like to think I'm pretty engaged in my community. But today I'm here to talk to you as an individual, as a single dad, and as a gun owner. Why? Because right now I'm a criminal for what I own, and I find it intolerant. Let me give you a little background. I understand why people are nervous and scared about so-called assault weapons. Why? Because I used to be that person. I used to give money to anti-gun organizations. There's an epidemic and something needed to be done. Common sense regulations made, well, common sense. But it took years for me to get past the emotionalism to understand the truth behind guns. Now, my Second Amendment rights are core to who I am. It's in the fiber of who I am. I believe the individual is sovereign and therefore he has a right to self-defense. You know, I get this issue of tolerance and it is easy to be tolerant of things you understand or support. But tolerance means tolerating things you don't understand or you find dangerous. I remember the AIDS epidemic in the 80s. There were people out there who said gays and lesbians who have AIDS need to self-identify, come forward and be registered. Why? Because there's an epidemic and something needed to happen. I remember after 9-11, people who clung to their Korans or a hijab or a burqa, people said, we need to keep an eye on them. We need to separate them from the community. We need to know where they are and what they have. Well, today, the intolerance is on gun owners, people like me. It's hard to understand, but in my hometown, by the new law, in order to keep what I've legally already owned, I have to self-identify, bring myself to the police for investigation, bring my gun for inspection, pay for yet another background check, and then pay again for permission slips to keep what I already own. It's not about gun control. It's about separating people from the community. It's about saying you are different. It is about making it harder to be who you are, to always look over your shoulder at the gun range, to be unwelcome in a town that talks about tolerance and diversity constantly. You know, it's not the hypocrisy about tolerance. It is the denial of their intolerance that I find maddening. So I've decided to go public with my, well, breaking the law. There are thousands of us in my hometown of Boulder who will not comply. I had to decide whether or not to do it publicly. I've decided to go publicly. I'm part of a lawsuit on a national level to challenge this. There's another lawsuit on the local state level. Could take years to find out. But until then, I'm open for arrest and open for my guns to be confiscated. My family is concerned about this. I'm a single dad. I've got a teenage daughter and a son with Down syndrome who needs constant attention. If I'm gone in jail for months, who is going to care for them? They are concerned. My daughter has been bullied at school for my position. You know that school that has all the Celebrate Diversity posters on the wall? I've been called all sorts of names in front of her and ganged up on by fellow students. That poor girl. This is not an easy thing for me to do. I don't want to do it but I am drawn to do it. I appreciate your support. Please stay tuned, I'll keep you updated. But I guarantee you, I will not comply.